another day in 1080. It's going to be a one take. Sorry. It's about 12.15 in the morning. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Today has been a really, really physically exhausting day because I blew leaves today for over four hours, about four and a half maybe. <clears throat> and it sucked using that big blower on wheels. You remember that's the one we put the, um, what do you call that thing? Head gasket in and the carburetor gaskets in and it fixed that problem. The compression's good. My problem right now, actually there's three. The handle was really loose in comparison to the motor. So that was easy. I got a 7 16th crescent wrench and fixed the handle. Then the rip cord doesn't always retract itself. I fixed that a year ago too. It's a new spring, so I don't know why that isn't working. Um, it is right now, but sometimes it doesn't. So if it continues not to work, I'll have to take it apart and look at it. But my biggest problem right now is the carburetor. Sometimes it acts like you dumped a gallon of gas in the cylinder. Obviously way too rich, stalls. Then I start it and I get tons of flames out the exhaust go maybe two, three feet and last a few seconds. Then sometimes it acts like you took all the fuel away from it completely. It's like you turn the, the switch to turn it off and it just, you know, spools down from full throttle and stalls. And then you turn the switch and you, sometimes it, it helps when you, when it's falling from full throttle to nothing. If you shake it a lot, it comes back to life. So I'm thinking it's the carburetor. I bought a rebuild kit. It's sitting in my desk. There's like 40 pieces the size of my pinky fingernail. There's no way I can put that together. Plus, it should be cleaned right anyways, acid bath. So I'm thinking when they take the mower in for its yearly service in December, I'll give them that too, give them the rebuild kit, and hopefully it's only an hour's labor. <clears throat> so we did my whole yard, both sides, front and back. Neighbor, all the front yard, half the backyard that was bad and all of the side yard. Today was the most leaves I've moved this year. I would say I'm a solid two thirds done. We're in pretty good shape. It's pretty clean right now. I'll probably have one more big cleanup and then a couple small ones. Maybe I blow for an hour or maybe I mow the yard to mow them off. So that's, that's good news. Did my accounting stuff today, getting ready in preparation for tomorrow's class. Since we had an exam last week, I had to catch up on that. So that's done did all the emails, did the watch later playlist. There's three videos left. I'm gonna do them when I go up and get into bed in a half hour. I got a shower and I gotta get into bed and I gotta throw a vlog up. E39 source video went public yesterday, another one going public tomorrow, and I'm fairly certain we have one lined up for Wednesday. We've been uploading every two days. We had a, like a two week off period. I don't know what happened. And now we've been going every two days for uh, about a week, maybe a little more. So we're getting a lot done and I'm feeling it. So I'm gonna go up, wrap this up. Sorry I didn't film anything today, but a, an update with what happened, but that's what today was. Sundays are now full catch up, do the work that didn't get done during the week and prepare for the next week. But I guess that's all right. You need a day like that for transition. 12.20, I didn't even touch the car today, <laughs> which is weird. We can't go a day without talking about it. I think I told you yesterday, Z9 and Z10, the front seats, Sometime this week, I'll probably just C10 the back seats. They're not dirty at all. Nobody sits back there with polo jeans. All right, we'll talk Monday. Good night.